All right, here we are on lesson 12, the last lesson in this note packet. So we should be on page 21 of our notes. And for this lesson, we're going to talk about the surface area of right rectangular prisms. So we're going to start by working in steps, and then eventually we're going to determine a formula for finding the surface area of these shapes. Okay, so example one says to examine the rectangular prism below and complete the table. So first we are going to do the area of the top, all right, which is kind of like the base. So the area of the top, if you look, would be 15 times 6, which is 90. And then if we did the area of the bottom, it would be the same thing, 15 times 6, which is 90. The area of this front side here would be 15 times 8, which is 120. Same thing for the back, 15 times 8, which is 120. And now our left and right. So let's do the right side first because we can see it. So that would be 8 times 6, which is 48. So the left side would be the same thing, 8 times 6, which is 48. So now it says here to use the distributive property to find the total surface area of the top and bottom. So for the top and bottom, we know it was 15 times 6, so it would be 2 times the quantity, 15 times 6, which would give us 180. If we added our 90 plus our 90, like we had up from up top, it would be 180. Alright, for the front and the back, it would be 2 times the quantity, 15 times 8. And our grand total for that would be 240, right, because this would be 2 times 120 and then our last one left and right side 2 and on the inside would be 8 times 6 so our grand total would be 96 because this would be 2 times 48 okay so now that we've looked at all the pieces they want us to create a formula for the surface area so it'd be the surface area SA equals so 2 times so for the top and bottom would be length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. Okay, don't worry too much about memorizing it for right now. We're just going to try to take our steps and then we'll use it to help us out. All right, so go ahead and flip to the next page where it says your term. So first I'm going to put the formula on the top. So we had 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height, plus 2 times width times height. So remember, this was like the top and bottom, and then we had front back, and then this was left and right. You want to write that down to help you out. So we're going to use our formula, so we have surface area equals, so it's 2 times, we're going to look at our top and bottom first, so top, so if we look at the bottom, it would be 12 times 2, plus 2 times our front and back, which would be, if we look at the front, 3 times 12, plus 2 times our left and right, this would also be 3 here, so it would be 3 times 6. So now let's do a little bit of simplifying. We would have 2 times 24 plus 2 times 36 plus 2 times 18. Oh, I messed up the number. Just kidding. This would be 3 times 2. Go back. 3 times 2. I got ahead of myself. This would be 2 times 6 in here then. 2 times 24 is 48. 3 times, or 2 times 36 is 72, plus 2 times 6 is 12. So when we add all of those up, we would get 132, and it's inches squared, because it's just area. All right. We'll do one more all together here. So using our formula again, so we have surface area, SA equals. So top and bottom first. It would be 8 times 6 plus 2 times front and back, we would have 8 times 22, plus our left and right, 
2 times 6 times 22. Okay? So, first we would have 2 and 6 times 8 is 48. Plus 2 times 8 times 22 is 176. Plus 2 times 6 times 22 is 132. <coughs> Excuse me. 2 times 48 is 96. Plus... 2 times 176 is 352, plus 2 times 132 is 264. So when we add all those up, we end up with 712 meters squared. All right, this last one I'd like you to try on your own. So we can go over it in class. So put a star by that, and you're going to come back to it, or you can pause it right now and do it. All right, and then we're going to look at one last thing on the back here. Example 2 says all the edges of a cube have the same length. Tony claims that the formula SA equals 6 times the quantity S squared, where S is the side length of each side of the cube, can be used to calculate the surface area. Is Tony correct? Use the diagram to explain your answer. Well, this only works for a cube, so you need to write yourself a note. This formula here only works for cubes. And it does work. All right, so let's go ahead and try this one. So we'd have SA equals 6 times our side lengths are 5, so 5 squared. So this would be 6 times 5, five times 5 is 25. So our grand total here would be 150 kilometers squared. All right, and we'll try one more down here. Calculate the surface area of a cube with side lengths of 8. So SA equals 6 times 8 squared. So we have to have 6 times 64. And when you multiply that, you get 384 centimeters squared. Okay, this last one here again, I'd like you to try on your own. So we can go over it in class. So you should be doing this one and the question from the other page on your own. And then we will go over the answers in class tomorrow.